Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of the non cooperators We're back playing Resident Evil, uh, Resident Evil Degeneration, and you guys have waited patiently, so let me put, let me show you the Magnum. Bam! Ooh! Ooh! That's not a Desert Eagle. That is a, that is a weird Magnum, honestly. No, it's a revolver Magnum, but it looks like, I don't know, because it's so pixelated, the barrel, it's like, it's like a half barrel, like it's only on the bottom, but hang on, let me go, let me, hang on, examine. Very powerful, uh, same damn thing. I thought it would be a little bit, I thought you'd like, look at it. And be pretty and appraised by it. But look at that now. Okay, see, now it looks like an actual, like, a, a, a revolver magnum. It's still cool. I, I, I can still appreciate it, but how the hell, wait, hang on. Okay, apparently it can fit eight shots. Ooh, silver ring. Oh, now I can finally, uh, fully upgrade this magnum now. Right? 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 I don't know. How much was it? It was like 800? So that was a thousand dollar ring. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Come on. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Just want to talk. I just want to talk to you. I'm just going to talk to you. Okay, let me see. Uh, yeah, four, oh, 400, not 800. So, oh, ammo capacity can actually go up to what? To 10 rounds? Okay. 10 shots in a revolver. Hey, look at that. We're getting achievement, apparently. Get away yet again. Uh, I think it's probably upgrade every single weapon you have, right? Because, I mean, we get the, pun we get the Magnum Punisher, Riot Gun, uh, 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 Automatic Machine Gun Pistol, Regular Handgun, and a Rifle. There was also the regular shotgun as well, but I got rid of it because why would I have two shotguns? You get the riot gun and the shotgun. They're literally both the same thing. Uh, the riot gun is a little bit better. I think it's like... I, th I think it's the same damage. It just holds more ammunition, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so we're going to test out this Magnum. I'm not too sure how much ammunition... Hang on. There you go. Ten shots. Not too sure how much ammunition I actually do... I I'm not too sure how much ammunition I'm, I'm, I can I'm actually carrying for the Magnum. So I do want to save it. For when I get into a sticky situation, because I can just take out all these zombies with just the uh, pistol. But I don't want to waste an ammo, uh, a shot by taking out a, by destroying a box and getting a golden necklace. So I will run around with this magnum until I get the opportunity to actually use it properly. But like I said, I'll use it for a little bit. Use the baggage door, work pass, opens a door. Like right now, I will use it. Actually, here. Oh damn! Everything's blowing up, and this thing, this this phone is like you know aggressively vibrating. You know how I'm not gonna imitate that again. That's <laughs> no, I can't, cause Daddy may have an aneurysm. All right, so this is kind of cool. All right, so let me um, it's a one shot kill. Shoot anywhere, pelvis, dick, balls, anus. Um, yeah, let me see how much I have. One box of ammunition. Uh, one box. Uh, and I think that only carries. Let's just say ten. Let's just. I got like. Let's just say this. I have an extra clip, so I don't want to use the magnum. I will use the uh, the Punisher pistol because I have. Uh, I got. An, I, got I got enough. Eighty shots, I think. A eighty, yeah, eighty shots, eighty clips. Or just eighty shots. I'm just gonna. I'm, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna say because this holds. 22 shots. If I say 22 clips, that's gonna be a little, uh, um, a little misdirection. Where the hell am I going, honestly? Oh, okay. Well, apparently I'm going through that door. That. Uh, oh, hey, buddy. How you doing? Has do you need that band-aid? Are you still alive? He's, 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 he's like, <laughs> he's still alive. His head is wobbling around like he's in Mortal Kombat. Finish him. Okay, so we use that baggage door uh, key. Coolness, coolness, coolness. And then we shall proceed into the baggage reclaim area, which, what are we doing in here? Okay, we're gonna go all the way down the hallway and turn right. If we don't encounter, oh, god damn it. We do encounter shit. Bad shit. This is the bad shit that we don't want to encounter, because these dogs are a motherfucker. God damn it. He can't see me yet, but as soon as I start firing, him and his buddies are, oh, motherfucker. Tattletailing piece of shit. Come on. I'm not. Oh, damn it. No, 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 no. Get off me, you. I'm just running. I'm just running. I am just running. Go away. Go away. Fetch. Play fetch. Pump, pump the other dog. Smell the other dog. God damn. No. Get off. Smell the other dog's ass. His ass is delicious. Wait. Did I just kill him? 
How the hell would I kill him? Whatever, 300 bucks. No! Fuck you, puppy. Yeah, fuck you. Exactly. Don't fuck with the Ken don't fuck with the Leon S. Kennedy, son. Alright, let me let me say up oh, save, my god. Save myself by healing myself. And I pass the greens. There we go. Super green. Okay, so now I don't even know where we're going now. Obviously we're going we are going where we need to go. Have to go. So and so go. We're in the warehouse. Oh fuck me. Wait, weren't we here before? It looks familiar. Oh, shit, 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 shit. I was gonna say, oh no! I was about to say, um, the explosion from the uh, from his air tank behind, uh, on his back, it will blow up, and it will be very, very big, and it will not be friendly or pretty, and it will kill me. <laughs> okay, so we're going down this hallway to that door, which I don't know if we can open or not. Either we can open it now, or we can't open it, or we still can't, still can't open it. It looks like elevators, honestly. Elevators leading to the control room, which I don't know if that's even a real thing. Like the, hey, let's go, let's go through the warehouse, and in the warehouse has elevators that leads us to the, our fancy control room, and this is just like our another way of getting in there, like the secret passage. Like, oh, after that, then we're gonna go down this, uh, this, this fire, uh, fire pole into our bat cave. There we go. Okay, so we still we do have the key, so that's good. Alrighty then, Mr. President. Where's your daughter? Oh, we already saved her. That's right. Generator, generator tunnels. God damn it! We're just going all over the fucking place. Fucking David Bowie's gonna come out of nowhere wearing all like leather gimp and everything with long hair and eye makeup and throwing a glass ball around me and being like, "You have 13 hours to complete my labyrinth." <laughs> Fucking Labyrinth is an awesome movie. I'm not making fun of him at all whatsoever. At least I try. I was trying not to. I was just basically doing exactly what he is in the movie. Where's all the makeup and everything? Oh no! Where's all the makeup? Where's all the uh, the, uh, the gimmicks? Has has got the long hair and the uh, and the eye makeup and everything, and just singing uh, singing around uh, Jim Hansen's Muppets. Awesome movie, by the way. All right, back in back in the '80s, and like everyone's got to like show respect for David Bowie now that that he just recently passed away. But even so, it's still a good movie, whether or not that he died or not. At least I liked it. It was back in the back. Like it's a, I liked it back in the time. I could st I could still enjoy it. That's that that's that's the, that's the gift of like watching a movie back then and then watching it now. Like I, yeah, I could still enjoy a movie like that. All right. Let me see what else I got. Rifle ammo. So yeah, let me just take your kid, and uh, I just want—I I know we just—we just met, but let me just take your kid, and you just—you just run around my, my labyrinth for about 13 hours. Which I know it, well, if you guys have actually seen the movie, it wasn't actually the movie's well, the, for obviously the movie's not 13 hours, and she doesn't actually run around the labyrinth for 13 hours because so spoiler, 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 stuff happens. If you don't remember, I'm not gonna reveal the spoiler, and if you do know what I'm talking about, then good for you. You get a cookie. Oops. Maybe that's not destructible. Damn. No hidden jewelry for Mr. Leon S. Kennedy. He's not married, is he? Yeah, he's not married. That's right. He's not. He's not Leon's not married. He was trying to get with what's-her-face. I was about to say Claire Dames. Claire Redfield. And then he was also trying to get with, uh, with Ada. Which he probably... Ironic enough, it may seem like this. He probably has more of a shot with Claire. Even though, like, when it comes to Ada, it's like saying, like, come on, we made out before. I feel like I got a better shot with you, and I like my girl's mysterious. Yeah, seriously, she is just wrapped up in an, in an, in an enigma, deep fried in a conspiracy, that woman. I, I cannot pinpoint her, her shit. I know she... You know what it is? Because I, pl I only played Resident Evil 2. There we go. I've only played Resident Evil 2, the, um... Leon A... Or is it Leon? I think it's Leon B. Where you you first start off as Leon, which you're not supposed to, story-wise, because in the story you start off as Claire, which is Claire A, and then Leon A, or is it Leon B? Claire A, Leon B. I think that's what it is. So I was play, the first time I always play, I always play as Leon, and it's always Leon A, when it's supposed to be Leon B. I think it's I think that's the uh, that that's 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 how it goes. But as I said, I always play as uh, Leon first, so I only get like the uh, 
the weird story of it, where Cli uh, um, if you guys haven't played uh, played that story of Leon, spoiler alert. Um, what happens to Ada is um, she falls off a um, she gets shot to death, and then they do like one of those anticlimactic type of things where he's holding the girl off the railing and she's about to fall and stuff. And as he's holding her, he's like saying, "Oh, just let me go. You have to escape." And then he lets lets, lets her go, and she falls into like an endless pit of like, "Oh my God, she's definitely dead." How does she survive that? Don't know, but apparently the real story of how it was was that she um, was shot several times, uh, makes out with Leon, and then just, as we saw, she dies, or dies off, or whatever. But later on when you're fighting the tyrant in like this uh, circular pit of holy shitness, and uh, oh my god, it's very hot, L apparently someone throws you a rocket launcher, or, 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 or a weapon, I forgot what it was, um... But apparently that person was supposed to be Ada, so she was still alive. So okay, so whatever. So I mean that that one obviously makes sense, and it obviously tells us like, oh okay, obviously she survived for Resident Evil 4, and so on and so forth. Resident Evil 4, then Resident Evil. That's a dog, isn't it? Resident Evil 4, and then Resident Evil 6. Yes. I'm trying to remember which re other Resident Evil game she was in. Two, four, and six. And once Resident Evil 7 comes out, she will not be in it, but she will be in 8, because she only appears in even numbers. 2, 4, 6, 8, and that's it. <laughs> she did appear in another game, I think, right? And it wasn't an even or an odd number. Oh, man. I could be wrong, though. <sighs> I'm tired already. God damn, I've only done... What are we on, our second episode? And yeah, we're on our second episode, and <laughs> we have to end it soon, because... We're like 11, 12 minutes in, I think. Or is this, is this the control panel? Yes, it is. Okay, so we're gonna press some buttons on the control panel next time on the non-cooperator. So we'll see you. See you next time.